between sessions, so let me show you what I got. I have some pipe cleaners, like classic, right? I cut them in half, and guess what? We are doing some fine motor play with a simple strainer, right? A metal strainer where the kids can take the pipe cleaners. Now, this is a little bit harder for the younger kids. So I'm thinking like two and a half years to three years old, where they take these and they poke it through the holes. My words are like pipe cleaner, right? Maybe a, a color, right? Orange. Poke, poke, in, in, in. Where'd it go? It's inside, right? And so I'm getting a couple of key vocabulary that I'm repeating every time, right? Pipe cleaner, blue. Poke, 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 in, in, in. Where'd it go? It's in. So that kind of repetition is great. I find that kids get really super focused with something just simple like this, where it's poking something in through a hole. Kids just like it and they get like zoned in and love it. So have fun with that. You can get that kind of stuff at the dollar store. What else can you get at the dollar store? Something similar to this. You can get um, an Easter egg type basket with tons of Easter eggs. And guess what? I have filled these Easter eggs with whatever the heck I could find. Some of them have little plastic animals, some have dinosaurs, and some have other random little toys that I found around the house. Kids just like to have something fun to find inside the egg. I have a couple of other videos showing me playing the egg hunt game, but essentially I hide them around the house or outside like an Easter egg hunt. And we go looking, my main words are looking, eggs, and we put them in the bucket and then later we open and we name all of the items in there. Hey, if you want like a printout of some of these key vocabulary words for these activities, click the link down below and I will send you um, a downloadable link so that you can have this PDF and have those words in front of you because sometimes it's hard to think of those words on the spot, right? Especially if you don't do it every day like me. What else did I get at the dollar store? Um, I got the contents of this, not the bin. The bin's a really nice bin from Walmart, I think. But anyways, what's inside is some puff balls, some of that pretend paper grass that we use in the Easter egg baskets, right? So I just made a sensory bin, all different kinds of puffy balls, colors, and then we've got the different textures, right, with the paper. Um, then I used some plastic scoopers I got at the dollar store, some tongs, clothes pins, and hey, just to make it extra April E, extra, you know, festive, I've got an egg carton, and we can scoop and pour all these fun puff balls and textures into this egg carton. Of course, check out my other resources on my website. I'll put some links below so you can check out my online course for parents and therapists. So you can have my step-by-step -step guide, a link to sign up for a consultation with me if you're in California, or if you're a US-based therapist, we can do a phone consultation. And if you're in San Diego or Sacramento, then contact us for in-home speech therapy. Thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. I'll be posting more videos weekly. Thanks guys, bye-bye. Special announcement, you can start my online course today for only $75. Click the link below.